welcome back now let's finish up part C and um, I if, I if I didn't mention it in the previous video when we were drawing the cumulative frequency in the question 7 part B uh, when drawing a cumulative frequency you should always use your free hand it's a free hand drawing okay or you could use a flexi curve for those of us who, who, who use that okay you can get that in the book bookshops all right now um, here in part C we ha have in our graph they are asking us to estimate from the graph number one the median mass of the packages and that's an easy two marks here I've underlined the word median and the word median simply means the value that falls in the middle now to find my median what I'm gonna do I am going to go on my vertical axis which is my y-axis here okay and I'm going to look at the maximum value at my on my y-axis how far up my y-axis has gone it's it's a hundred up there if you notice that okay that's the maximum value so what you do you divide that that number by two so a hundred divided by two that would be 50 okay so what I'm gonna do 50 would fall exactly in the middle so what I'm gonna do I'm going to come down at 50 and I'm going to you should use a rule I don't have a ruler here in the software but you should you use a rule and with a broken line you're going to draw a horizontal line coming across horizontal broken line and where that line touch the graph that's where I'm going to come down on my x-axis okay so I'm coming down right there on my x-axis coming down and that value would represent my my uh, median okay so let's check that off quickly now if you notice here um, I have a 20 here so obviously this would be 21 22 23 so my median mark would be 23 so we can just fill that out quickly so right here I would have a 23 so let's just drop it in so it came down at 23 so you can say therefore now therefore my median mark the median the median is equal to 23 and we have to represent our units it's in kilograms so that's 23 kilograms okay so that's uh, C part 1 that's question C part C part 1 let's finish up this question quickly uh, part 2 they're asking us to find the probability uh, that a package chosen at random has a mass which is less than 35 kilograms okay and that's another easy three marks now what do we mean by probability probability is really and let's make a note here quickly probability probability let me use a different color probability okay probability prob probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes favorable outcomes over the total outcomes okay over the total outcomes now what do we mean by that let's say for example um, Bill had two bags okay and let's just let's just quickly let, let me just do a quick explanation here just right here and then we go back to it so let's say for example Bill has two bags he has a black bag he has a black bag and he has a red bag okay so um, Bill has a friend John now you can ask yourself a question what's the probability that if Bill should just choose a bag at random um, it would be a red bag okay so what you're gonna do you have to look at the total number of bags that Bill has Bill has two bags okay so th that two is a total outcome TO so total outcome so that's two and if you count how many red bags he has in that total it would be one red bag so the probability there would be a half or one over two given the fact that he has one red bag so um, that's just a basic um, introduction to probability now getting back to the question they're asking us for the probability now that a bag chosen of at random rather has a mass which is less than 35 kilograms now all you have to do you're going to find 35 kilograms on your on your x-axis and 35 would be exactly between 30 and 40 so what I'm gonna do I'm going to come here at 35 and I'm going to use my rule and I'm going up again and I'm drawing a broken line straight up to touch my graph okay I'm going to touch my graph where this line touched my graph I'm going to just come across now so I'm coming across there 
and I'm going to touch my my y-axis okay so I drew a line I drew a broken line from 35 on my X coming up to touch the graph and where I touch the graph I come across to my Y axis touch it and that's 80 so here my probability I can then state then that my probability and this is part 2 we're working out so my probability probability is equal to 80 over 100 okay why because if you notice the total number on my graph it went up to 100 so that would be the total outcome and since I stop at 80 here um, I'm taking 80 out of 100 okay so we know that 10 into 80 goes 8 times and 10 into 100 goes 10 times so we're left with 8 over 10 which also can be simplified 2 into 8 goes 4 and 2 into 10 goes 5 so my probability when it is simplified is basically four fifths okay and that's your answer all right bye bye feel free to leave your comment or any questions that you may have and we'll get back to you as soon as possible okay guys bye